Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back. Today's update here is for SHIB. We are trading at 10.89 right now. We can see already we're breaking through the top of our trend line, which is amazing to see as the Bollinger Bands are squeezing in and basically it's letting us know that there is going to be a breakout that's going to occur pretty soon. But one of the things that we have observed from SHIB in the last couple of hours dating from June 1st is we have continuously higher highs and and higher um, higher lows here in this triangle that's coming back up to a resistance line and then falling back down now that could possibly be a res um, same repetition that we may see is hitting resistance hitting to support as we are going into this channel or this triangle and once we finally break out from the top we may fall back down as a short and one of the things that we do see using different indicators is one is our momentum indicator which is our MACD line it does look like we are having a slope upwards however this may indicate that the trend itself is slowing down even closer to a resistance line at the 10 90 here and we may come back down as these two lines cross over another thing too is taking a look at our RSI is as high as 95% which is considered to be overbought and we may see a pullback that's going to happen so a pullback may come back down closer to this area here at around 61% of our Fib chart or equivalent to 1082 if we are found around 1082 you'll notice that it's around the 20 moving average which which is a part of our Bollinger Band and may actually retrace closer down to 1069 or 78 percent of our fib chart if we do get closer down to 78 percent then that is going to be a huge warning or basically alerting us that we're closer to our tread line itself and we may fall short so if we do fall short between our 20 moving average our 78 percent of our fib chart then we may actually retrace closer to the next area of supply and demand and you'll notice here is basically our cap from our volume indicator right here. The next area is going to be probably at 1051 where we're gonna catch ourselves. So that's an area where we may actually fall short on, but we do have some indicators showing us that there is going to be a pullback and we're hoping that the pullback only keeps us at the 20 moving average the most here. So that's my update for SHIB. Thanks guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe, but I'll catch you tomorrow.